Peter O'Toole, Peter Andre, Petersfield Town Football Club, Peter Cush. Oh, look, this intro's just petering out. Welcome to Around the Grounds. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Around the Grounds. I'm at Petersfield Town Football Club in, um, well I, as I've said before I draw up a list of leagues that I hope to go to at the beginning of the season and when I looked at the beginning of this week to plan where I was going it still had both the, both the Wessex Premier and Wessex Division 1 and I didn't either of them thought that needs sorting so here I am Wessex Division 1 Petersfield Town at home to Ringwood today um, clubhouse you go into in there and there's a sort of picnic area I've taken a shot of there um, on an amazing day there's not a cloud in the sky we have to go up and down here even though there's not a cloud in the sky the traditional wind blasting me white team and match officials entrance in there a little rusty gate there and then we come to our first area of cover just a small area a little bench here and this dugout i love a dugout as you know i thoroughly enjoyed the ones last week look at this it's executive time here this is a home dugout there's like four five six armchairs run in there it's like being strapped into Thunderbird 1 or something. Fantastic. And just look at the depth that goes into it. And then you come to the physio room that seems to have a front door on it. Amazing. Look at that. Pretty similar to my front door, actually. Different colour. That's the six facing the wrong way and then we come to the away dugout this just amuses me after seeing the um, executive suite there you come to the away dugout and there's a wooden bench probably with splinters in it as well um, still got good depth to it love it love the dugouts fantastic um, pizza's feels and um, to get here I came into London went into London and uh, went to Waterloo and then it's a straight train out took about an hour um, Two rows of seats here. With an interesting sort of temporary cover over the top of them. Don't know if they're allowed to be used or not. Um, yeah, so about an hour, and then it's, I don't know, 10 minute walk from the station. I stopped off, which I'll tell you about in a moment. For something to eat. Here's the big old roller, and look at this. It's a, I've taken a picture of this. This is an instrument of torture. Seriously, can't get me shadow out of it, man. You don't want to mess with that bad boy. Rolling hills in the distance, as you can see there. I have a couple of um, shout-outs to give. I had a message from one of my subscribers this week, um, Dan T T N Y, asking whether I've given him a shout-out. And to be honest with you, as I said, Dan. I can't remember. So here's a shout out to Dan. Thanks for all the comments you're putting on my channel. It's Dan good to have you on board. And um, LB Games. Well, LB glad to have you on board too. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed since my last video. So when I got to Petersfield and I just started aimlessly wandering and ended up in the town centre, there's a Poppins restaurant or cafe and I lived in Welling uh, on my hometown Welling Garden for well, I've been there 20 years and it had a Poppin, Poppins cafe never went in there once for no particular reason today I've been in Petersfield five minutes and I was in there sausage chips and beans no frills but really nice actually very friendly I'm just dazzled by the sun it's a beautiful day really is Surprisingly, this is Petersfield's last home match of the season. I think they've got four left after today. They're all away. Doesn't it creep up on you? You're thoroughly enjoying the season. Suddenly the weather starts getting a bit better. And it's OK, lads, that's it for the year. Frightening how quickly it goes by. Here's the main stands. Um, so, quite steep going up these little um, concrete steps, the 
Fotronics stands there. Um, there's some seats up there, so I may well get a bit of height on proceedings today. Um, and if you don't know the format, I try and do match highlights, um, and then there'll definitely be a bunch of stills at the end, um, along with this walk around the ground for those that aren't able to ever come here, but do come if you can because it's quirky and that's what I love about um, ground hopping and visiting different places. I had no idea what to, to expect today, um, but this is a really nice and interesting place to visit. There's the stand again. Um, that's a that covered seating area, the first seating area we came to, the exclusive dugout and the, um, the away dugout. Um, that's the main clubhouse there. tree lines here when I turn the corner this little bit here with these sort of thin narrow trees whatever they are going straight up reminds me a little bit of Rainer's Lane um, where they've had to rope it off and you can't go there last time I went because I think the trees were leaning so not as much as Rainer's Lane they, they go the whole end at Rainer's Lane and then you've got the old, the old netting up here as well and then we um, are at the goal, the near goal. And you can see that the website and name of Petersfield Town Football Club is on the building there as well. And that, as you can see, it's also on the front of the main stand, as I call it there. But don't take my word for it. Why don't you come to Petersfield Town Football Club yourself? I'm sure you'll have a warm welcome. Do stay tuned for highlights of today's game and some stills at the end. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, click on like. If you've hated every minute of it, click on dislike. But why not subscribe so that all future videos that I do go directly to your YouTube feed. And once you subscribe, click on the little bell. Click on the little bell. You'll wake up in the morning. There will be an executive dugout in your back garden. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. This is Petersfield Town Football Club. I tell you what. Hi, this is Chris. You're watching my channel Around the Ground, and the half time score is nil nil. That was a good try. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. I knew that you felt so divine when she made efforts for me. Full time with a final score of Petersfield Town nil, Ringwood 1. Ringwood scored with her only shot on target the entire game and it was in stoppage time. Quite how Petersfield didn't score in the first half, I'll never know. We're a much better team, game went scrappy in the second half. But what a lovely place to visit, really friendly club on a beautiful day. Do come if you can. Thanks for watching, speak to you soon. This is Petersfield Town Football Club.